Hey YouTube, what's up? So today I'll be showing you how to get uh, spray paint from one can into uh, a nearly empty can or empty can. Um, the purpose in this is mainly just for refilling nice uh, pocket sized cans like this that you can you know, just shove in your pocket or throw in your bag instead of having to lug around like a 400ml uh, can like this. And all you'll need to do this is a can that's nearly empty or empty, a can that has at least some paint in it, and two needle caps. Um, you'll only need one straw though, so if you lose a straw for whatever reason, it doesn't really matter. And there is even some um, uh, how-tos on YouTube by other people on how to make needle caps or uh, a cap system similar to this. Uh, you'll also need a freezer, which you should have, and the reason for that is because uh, you put the can that you want the paint in uh, in the freezer because it then it makes it lower pressure, which then makes this one higher pressure, which then makes it easier for the paint to transfer from the original can to the other. Now I tried uh, doing it without putting it in the freezer and it worked for about a second. I, I barely got any paint in it, it was a waste of time. Then tried it in the fridge. I got a bit more in but it wasn't like half full. It, it That was a bit of a waste of time as well. But most of the time when I put it in the freezer I can, I can um, fill it up all in one go or at least half of it. So uh, yeah, this is what you do. Now I have literally just got this can from the freezer so uh, it will be a lot easier to put paint in it. Now just take the cap off, take the other cap off and then you put the two caps on both your spray cans and the one that's been in the freezer you want to be on top of the one with the paint in because it, it feeds the paint up into the other uh, can and also if you had this one on top because of where the straw goes it might not pick up any paint and you'll struggle to get paint in this can now all, once they're both on each other you just want to press and hold the caps uh, at the same time Now I don't know whether you can hear that but when you press both the caps together you will definitely hear some of the paint going in into the other can. Now after a while it stops like how it has now with me and uh, all you want to do is you want to shake, shake both the cans together and then you can carry on. Now you can only do this for a limited amount of times but it, it's better than needing to shove it in the freezer like four times instead of just twice or something. There, there's two different sounds that the the paint makes. One's a more noticeable sound like when you first press both the caps together uh, and another one is more of like a drippy, drippy paint sound. Sometimes swapping the caps over uh, helps, I don't know why, it just seems a bit fluky, but no, today it's not. After you've used your cap system, I recommend um, popping it in a uh, pot of paint thinners to clean out, clean out the caps and the straw. And if you don't have any paint thinners, then you can always use um, uh, uh, like a Montana do a branded Ace Tone, where you just put a cap on uh, a spray can and then spray it and then it's using air pressure as well as 
solvents to clean out the caps which is very useful um, yeah this hasn't filled all the way it's filled about half but you can always shove it in the freezer again um, and then wait overnight and then try again and then you're you're set to go so yeah this has been Hexink Works showing you how to refill a spray paint can peace